it's time we were bringing out some of the big guns. We're heading into February and it's time to get some of our main seeds on the go this month. And I need your help, YouTube. I'm short of a very special packet of seeds coming up for next month, but I need your help in this month's video. So watch out for that coming in a little bit. I need you to pick me a very, very special packet of seeds for next month, but I'll come to that. Anyway, the weather, the weather's been a bit rubbish. We had the big freeze. We've managed to make our way through. Then we've had Storm Isha and we've had Storm Jocelyn. It has been all over the place. It's okay now though, things have settled down. It's not too bad, we'll see. It's all right for sowing seeds at the moment, but just keep an eye on those frosts and when they're about, word of warning. Anyway, let's get into the seeds. First up, one I forgot to do in January. I found this packet of seeds here. This is my basket of fire chilies. And that is one thing to say, it is not too late to start sowing chili seeds. Yes, most of us have done them in January. You can do them in February and they will catch up. Basket of fire are oh, wonderful. They, I usually grow them in a pot, so I will put them in the polytunnel or in the greenhouse, but they'll grow in a pot. And they grow this most wonderful dark green foliage. And it has hundreds, I kid you not, hundreds of amazing looking little chilies all over it. And they're all ripe at different stages. So on the plant, you've got green, you've got red, you've got yellow, you've got orange, and it looks absolutely fabulous. I would highly recommend Basket of Fire. And next up is the first of our sweet peppers or bell peppers for this year. This one here is called Tangerine Dream. First time trying out this one this year. And it's a little bit like Basket of Fire that I just mentioned, but for sweet peppers. I mean, they do grow quite a bit bigger than the Basket of Fire, but I'm gonna do them in a pot, in the polytunnel, in the greenhouse, look after them, molly coddle them, and they should be absolutely wonderful. But great for salads and things like that. They're not massive, not big, huge ones that you'd maybe chop up and chuck in your cooking in your spag ball or your chili or whatever it is you're cooking. Nice little ones, perfect for salad. Next up, my absolute favorite pepper, and this is King of the North. I cannot say enough good things about this pepper. The plant is productive. It is easy to grow. For a pepper, it is relatively hardy. If you're uh, Scotland, you might push it just a little bit, but down south in the UK in the warmer climes, you can absolutely grow these peppers outside if you want. They don't need to be grown under cover. They are big, thick, walled, fleshy fruits. They are marvelous. I cannot recommend King of the North peppers enough, just in case you can't tell. And next up, aubergine, and the first selection from our favorite seed supplier, Grown Local, link down below in the description, please go and have a look. And this is a variety called Genie F1. Now, arguably, I should have had this sown in January, probably around about the start of the month. I'm a little bit behind. Am I worried? Not really, that's life. These things happen. Sometimes I forget to sow certain seeds. I'm trying to be more organized. If those of you who saw my planning video, I'm trying to stick to the plan. I'm trying to stick to the spreadsheet. This spreadsheet's been created this month. So it's a bit of a work in progress. But yeah, I should have had these done a couple of weeks ago. They'll catch up though. We'll get them done on the heated propagator. We'll get them going. We'll get them on the grow light. And I'm sure they will catch up in no time whatsoever. But the Genie F1, good, solid, decent aubergine. I'm only gonna do one or two plants. I don't eat loads and loads and loads of aubergine, but I love a moussaka. I like Greek food. I love Greek food. Aubergine, a moussaka, absolutely marvelous. And next for this month is kohlrabi. And as always, and like I say about a lot of these things, it's more often than not all about finding the right variety. And as you can, you can see from this rather tattered seed packet, I have used these seeds before many, many times, and they are brilliant. This is a variety from DT Brown, and it is called Cossack F1. It is a green kohlrabi, it's not a purple one, it's a green one, it is brilliant. One of the main problems with kohlrabi is if you leave it too long, it goes this horrible, grainy, tough, woody texture. Cossack F1 does not do that. It just keeps on growing. I mean, I would still pick it young, but you know, picking them young is the best time to have them. Two ways I like my kohlrabi. One is in a mash. It's a bit like turnip, you know, it's lovely, mash it, boil it, mash it, have it like that. The other thing I like to do, raw, sliced really thinly in a salad, absolutely blowing marvelous. 
And next up for this month is our first shallot of the year. And this is from the aubergine that I'm probably just a little bit late with to one that I'm going to push my luck with. And this is a variety of shallot called zebrun, or it's otherwise called banana shallot. It's a big, tall, bulbous sort of shallot. It's wonderful. It goes to a great size, more of a sort of, like, overall volume, more of a sort of a, an onion sort of size than a, than a traditional shallot sort of size. Grow them some seed, absolutely wonderful. They're probably, you know, it says March on the packet. February is a long month. It's even longer this year because we're in a leap year. So some of these I am going to be growing, like I always say, towards the end of the month. Just because I'm saying seeds for February, it's not going to become the 1st of February and I'm magically going to sow all of these seeds in one go. Some of them I am going to sow early. The aubergines, the bell peppers, the basket of fire, they're all getting on the go straight away. Probably the kohlrabi as well. The rest of them are going to be spread out throughout the month. And this is a prime example of one that I'll probably do around about mid-February sort of time. And again, they'll be a little bit mollycoddled. They'll be looked after, they'll be kept under cover. They're not going to go out straight away. And next up for this month, we've got one of my absolute staples, and that is Bolt Hardy Beetroot. I've tried many different varieties over the past few years. I must admit, they're all, they're all pretty much good, but this one... Bolt Hardy Beetroot, absolutely solid, rock solid, top performer, year after year. And like the name suggests, it is Bolt Hardy. It's resistant to bolting, which is brilliant. Once the sun does actually come out here in Scotland and it warms up, it's resistant to bolting and you'll get a brilliant crop from it. Plus, you get absolutely bajillions of seeds for hardly any money whatsoever. Next on the list, again, from our favourite seed supplier, grown local is a variety of pea called Oregon Sugar Pod. Now, me and peas have a love-hate relationship. I love growing peas. Peas hate growing for me. I have trouble with peas every single year. I kid you not, and I am determined. This is the year, this is the year we are going to have the most spectacular crop of peas you have ever seen on a YouTube video. So be sure to come back around about summertime just to see whether that's actually worked out or not. Anyway, I'm maybe pushing my luck a little bit again with these ones. They're quite early for peas again, probably more towards the end of the month, but I'm determined, determined to get a good crop of peas this year. Now, let me take you forward in time. Right to the very end of February. I mentioned it was a leap year, and we've got the 29th of February coming up. And that is when I'm going to be sowing these seeds. And this is where I need your help. Now, most of my tomatoes, because we're up here in Scotland, are going to be done next month in March. But, but, I'm brought two of them forward. I want to get some of them done. Just get that little bit of a head start at the end of February. But when I've been sorting through my seeds, I'm pretty sure I'm short of one type of tomato. So I've got all my different varieties planned out. I've got a couple here. I've got another couple ready for next month. But what I need your help with out there, YouTube, is I would like you to pick me a variety of tomato to grow this summer. I can only grow one more variety. That's all I've got space for, one more variety. So please let me know in the comments down below the variety I should grow. Because I have looked and I have looked and there's blooming millions of them. I don't know which one to pick. So please pick one for me and we'll see how we'll get on with those. But two that I have picked. Again, from Grown Local, this one here is Black Moon F1. Never tried them before. I am really looking forward to trying them out this year. Just, I, I love the tomatoes. I love the colour of some of those dark tomatoes. When they grow in the polytunnel, we've got the light ones, we've got the red ones, and we love the contrast of the dark ones against them. It's going to be some great Instagram pictures coming on the back of that. Anyway, another one we're going to do here, and this is San Marzano. One of the things I like to do with the tomatoes is make um, a sort of base tomato sauce with them. Again, whether it's for chili, whether it's for a, a spag ball, a pasta, or whatever, having that sort of supply of fresh tomato sauce stored in the freezer over the winter, oh, it's pulled one out. You've got that, honestly, the, the taste of that fresh tomato sauce compared to one that you buy at the supermarket, absolutely marvelous. And this variety here, San Marzano, grows these big, fat, juicy tomatoes, and apparently they are the best ones for making tomato sauce with. And one last thing to mention is I haven't forgotten about my friends, the flowers. Yes, I am going to be sowing flower seeds this month. 
I am trying to get better at different flowers to grow, but there is a Potty Mouth Garden Club special coming up in just about a week or so, all about flowers. And it really is gonna be a very, very special one. But more about that next week. Watch out in the community section of the channel. You will see me post a link to that and it'll take you to the show and you can go along and watch it. And there'll be a few special guests on there talking all about the different types of flowers they're gonna be growing this year. And I'm very, very pleased to say some of them know a lot more about flowers than I do. But anyway, that's me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.